Coming off your newsletter at 430, a major project for MSCS is now three months behind. Good afternoon, everyone, and thanks for joining us. I'm Alex Coleman. Hi there, I'm Shay Arthur in for April. Some Shelby County commissioners are blaming the school district for that delay at Whitehaven High School's STEM lab. And that's where we find our Shay Simon live tonight. And Shay, any answers from MSCS? Yes, yeah, Shay, Alex, we reached out to MSCS and we have not heard back, but take a look here. This is the area here at Whitehaven High School that is supposed to be under construction. County commissioners have now gotten involved, hoping to get the ball rolling with or without the district. April 2024, hard hats on and shovels in hand. Memphis City leaders celebrate the groundbreaking of the almost $10 million Whitehaven High School STEM lab. Today, those plans are now three months behind and $2.3 million short. We can't proceed until we can show that we've got all the money either collected or pledged. In a Shelby County Commission meeting Monday, MSCS school board members and the community made a plea to commissioners for support. I am convinced that you will do the right thing because Whitehaven High School is one of the most deserving schools in this state. But commissioners like Edmund Ford Jr. wearing a hard hat for emphasis are used. It is time for MSCS to step up. If you don't do it, I'm ready to bring this up on the 26th and do the job that Memphis Shelby County Schools not once but twice failed to do. With an August 20th deadline, MSCS board chair Althea Green agrees to reprogram 1.3 million already given and to take 1 million out of MSCS's fund balance. When Memphis Shelby County Schools agree to do something, whether administration change or not, it is our responsibility to honor our commitment. Now, the attorney has confirmed that once construction begins, everything should be done in little less than a year. But Shay, Alex, uh, MSCS is meeting tonight, and we will have a crew there, and we'll have an update for you tonight at 6. For your news leader in Whitehaven, Shay Simon, WREG News Channel 3. All right, Shay, thank you very much. All eyes on Whitehaven.